racing in Belgium, it just feels like you're right at the heart of the sport, right where the sport is its strongest and where the people love it the most. In Belgium in the fall, what do you want to do on Sunday or Saturday afternoon? Well, you want to go to the cross race and you want to hang out in the beer garden. You have everyone from, you know, from young kids running around at the races to, to grandma and grandpas. You have people from who just go because they like the atmosphere to people that know every single stat about every single rider there. It's explosive, it's, it's high paced, but it's also technical and really, really finessey. My personal opinion is that all combines to make for probably the most exciting cycling discipline to watch. Just, you never really know what's gonna happen and the course and the conditions can change so much from one weekend to the next. When you're thinking about cross racing, you're thinking about accelerating 20 times a lap for eight laps over, maybe even more than that. So you don't want to be losing any power when you're sprinting out of all those turns. So having something that's really stiff, incredibly important. When I think about a cross bike though, I also think about something that is pretty much strictly a race bike. There's not extra weight on that. There's not actually bottle cages. There's not fender mounts. You don't need those things. The cross bike, it's a Ferrari of the world. It's not a utilitarian SUV. This is a race bike. I'm late enough in my career to know that I'm probably not gonna win a World Cup and that's totally okay. But I do have ambitions in Europe. I think to improve at something, sometimes you need to throw yourself into the deep end. And for me, throwing myself into the deep end is going to Europe, is racing those World Cups and seeing what sticks basically. Every time I come back, I come back excited to race more. I come back with new technical skills and probably a new understanding of, of just what I can accomplish on the bike. So yeah, when I look forward, I do have goals of getting a top 10 in Fayetteville in a couple of years, but I also see Europe as a platform that helps springboard me right to the front of the North American races, helps teach me how to go faster around turns, how to push a little bit harder, how to race in higher pressure situations, and how to win more.